Svetlana asks, hey, Luke, I'd like to ask about the word bestie as best friend. Is it common in everyday English? So it depends on who you are, right? Uh, this is another case of the connotation. So if there's a word that becomes popular, who gets to say it, right? If I heard my grandmother, who's 80, one years old, if I heard her say, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to uh, Ashland to meet my bestie, I would, it would blow my mind. I would be so shocked by that. Why? That's not a word in her vocabulary. She grew up in the 1930s, 1940s. She grew up with a totally different set of language. And I think once you get to a certain point, your language kind of gets locked in. And in fact, it's not necessarily a bad thing that it gets locked in because that helps you identify with people in your generation. And if you start using some words outside of that, it might be kind of uncomfortable and awkward. Now, it, it really depends on the word too because some words rise into popularity and become universal, meaning that you need to use those words in order to communicate with everyone. So a perfect example of that would be something like the word smartphone. If I heard my, because smartphones were not around when my grandma was 12 years old, right? There were no, there weren't even, there were barely telephones, right? So she would not know the word smartphone. Now, if I heard her say the word smartphone, can you, I, I'm getting a new smartphone next week. It would not blow my mind because that word describes a specific thing and there isn't another word to describe that specific thing. So there's not a generational component to it. But with bestie, there is. So she would describe that as her close friend, her closest friend, her dear friend, her dearest friend. I might say a close friend, a best friend, a good friend. Maybe close friend would be how I would describe it. Even I feel uncomfortable using bestie. To me, when I think of bestie, the connotation is teenagers, right? A teenager is, has besties. Someone who's under age 20 has besties. So for me, it's uncomfortable to say that uh, as to mean best friend. But does that mean I shouldn't know it? No, that doesn't mean I shouldn't know it. I need to know it. It's good to know things, but you don't necessarily have to use everything that you know. I know a lot of things I don't use. I know tons of things I don't use. And it helps me to understand my world and interact with my world. But then when it comes to saying things, when it comes to communicating, one of my calculations that I make when I'm speaking is, what is going to allow me to effectively express myself in a way that is authentic to who I am? And saying bestie doesn't feel right, so I won't use it. And I also know that if I say my bestie, someone else might think, well, why is that old man saying bestie? Uh, strange, you know. Uh, I, I know that as well. And I don't even feel right saying it because it just feels like it doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to my generation. So those are, that's the line between here's a word. Here's what it means. Here it is in the dictionary. And... Here's a word that people use. This group of people use it. This group of people don't. Which one are you in? That's a higher level of learning. That's a level of, of learning that you have to get into if you want to become really fluent in English. If you want to master the language, you have to be aware of those connotations, those usage questions. In fact, usage becomes extremely important as you get higher and higher into the English language to feel who uses it, right? There, nobody told me what I just said about uh, it being strange for me to use, but not an 18 year old. I'm just telling you how I feel about it. And how did I get that? I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I, the people I hear using it are in that age group. I see it on, when I see it on TV, it's a certain type of person. I identify it with a specific type of person, right? So that's, um, that's all I can say. And in order to get an understanding of the word, you have to get 
a sense for how it feels for people to use it. One last thing I want to do is search it in the dictionary. So let's go to let's go to Webster. I'm going to go to Webster dictionary and I'm going to search the word B E S T I E and search and it comes up noun. Best friend is the meaning informal. It that's a, that's a little hint, right? The holiday was a present from my bestie to celebrate my 32nd birthday. See, I think the example they gave to me doesn't work. I'm 32. I wouldn't use it, <laughs> right? So eh, maybe but maybe a better example. How about my 17th birthday? That works. <laughs> so hopefully that answers your question, Svetlana. That's a good one. Thank you for asking. Guys, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. Check out the full courses in the links in the description.